what's up guys have you been saving up are you planning on buying a pc well this is simply some pc part buying suggestions so i broke it down into two categories the first one being a 500 hundred dollar pc and the second one being a thousand dollar pc starting off with the 500 hundred dollar pc for processor i decided on the all popular amd ryzen 5 2600 6 core 12 thread processor it comes with the Rave Stealth Box Cooler. The 6 core should be more than enough for nowadays workloads. Pricing is also a factor, something I consider since it came down in price since the launch of the Ryzen 5 3600. For motherboard, I decided to pair it up with the ASRock B450M. It's a solid build quality board with all the needed features. It has M.2 support. It has a 6 power face design. As for RAM, I went with a single 1.8 gig Corsair Vengeance LPX 2400 MHz speed module with a cache latency of 16. It was the cheaper and the popular choice, but you can always, I know the, the clock speed is a bit low, but you can always overclock the RAM, seeing that the Ryzen performs better on a higher clock speed. If you have additional money to spend, you can always add another 8GB module, so you can run dual channel. My graphic card of choice was the XFX Radeon RX 570, the 4GB version. Run triple eye titles on the medium to high settings at 1080p. It has a nice looking black backplate. As for display input, it has one DVI, three HDMI's, and one HDMI input. The pricing has come down since the recording of this video with $10 on the specific model. Everything is going to be powered by the Seasonic S12 3. 450 watt, it's an 80 plus bronze power supply. So 450 watt should be more than enough for the system. Seasonic in general has very efficient reliable power supply. It also has a 5 year warranty with all black cables. For storage I decided to go with the single 1TB Western Digital Blue hard drive. Everything is being housed in the Aerocool Cyclone RGB mid tower case with the acrylic side panel. RGB light strip on the front panel. It has front support for 240mm radiator. Supports up to three 120mm front fans, one 120mm at the back and one up top. It has a power supply shard with the front I.O. consisting of one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. Everything added up to $499.13. Please guys, let know these are simply just suggestions. You can always chop and change parts as you see fit. You can always upgrade the card if you have money more to spend. If you play more games, I would advise that you spend more on the graphics card. So on to the thousand dollar PC guys. The process of choice is the AMD Ryzen 7 2700, a 6 core 12 thread processor. With a great price to performance ratio seeing that the price has dropped significantly. It includes the Ravespire LED cooler. The 2700 will be resting in the ASUS Prime X470 Pro. A full ATX motherboard has support for two M.2s with one being covered by a heatsink. The back I.O. has one display port, one HDMI, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 and two USB 3.1 Gen 2s. This is a fully specced out X470 motherboard with great looking aesthetics. For RAM I went with the stunning looking 2x8GB kit from Team Group, the T-Force Delta RGB, clock speed of 3200 MHz and a cache latency of 16. It does support the XMP 2.0 one click overclocking technology. For graphics card of choice, I went with the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 6GB. For display inputs, it has one HDMI and three display ports. If you have more of a budget, you can always go with the TI version. Powering everything will be the Corsair CX650M. It has an 80 plus bronze rating, semi modular with all black cables, also has a 5 year warranty. 
for storage the western digital blue 500 gigabyte m.2 was a good option seeing that the motherboard has a m.2 heatsink with up to a read speed of 560 megabytes and a write speed of 530 megabytes with a budget of a thousand dollars didn't see the need for nvme since the operating system is going to be run on an m.2 i thought to add a one terabyte mechanical western digital blue hard drive for storage of your bigger size files a case of choice to match our black and white color scheme is the all popular fractal design mesh of Ashi, the white tempered glass version with the angular mesh front panel for better airflow a power supply shroud rubber grommets two 120mm fans included plenty of space for cable management with the velcro tie down points and removable dust filters because there was some budget left i decided to upgrade the race by led cooler with the big white dark rock 4 simply because it's a quite beefy cooler and also that it would look amazing in the case matching the black and white theme seamlessly if you want to go for aio cooler the deep cool captain 240 rgb is a good alternative it has a nice looking water block black sleeve braided cables the total of all the parts added up to $990.68 If you live in South Africa, the total comes out to $15,547.45 Excluding shipping So let me know in the comment section guys If this video was at all helpful And also what parts would you change Don't forget to hit that like button